For my commercial, I was thinking of documenting how incredibly interesting it is reading this book. Paradise Lost by John Milton. What's up, Grandma? Oh, hello, darling. How was school today? Everyone just talks with the duck face now. Oh, that's very nice. Ever since Kesha became president, we just all have been, you know, like learning a lot. Man. But uh, today we had to get this book called Paradise Lost. It's like by John Milton or something. Oh, yeah. What about Paradise Lost? I'm just not really sure if I did it, Gma. Oh, honey, I read that book a long time ago. Uh-huh. I remember it. I liked it. It's a... It's a challenge. I mean, you can't read it in one night. So you're gonna have to, you know, do your homework and stuff. But you know, honey, it might be too hard for you. I mean, you gotta know a lot of... You gotta know a lot of stuff. It makes, makes a lot of references in it, honey. I mean... You gotta have a pretty good, pretty good grasp on theology, and mythology, and biblicology, and readingology, and a bunch of other ologies that you don't even know about. Uh huh. So I mean, I don't know if you're gonna be able to handle the book. I mean, it's written like that one Shakespeare man. They wrote it together, probably. I don't, I don't know for sure. It's 2078, like, I thought we were past that kind of stuff. I mean, that was written in, like, forever ago. I just don't know if I like it. There was a lot going on in there. And it takes all of these characters, like Adam and Eve and Satan and God, it makes them very personable. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, honey, then you'll probably love it. I mean, I love the book. It's fantastic. It made me feel more intelligent after I read it. You know, honey, I learned how to crochet while I was reading that book. That's how educated I became. Well, I'll definitely, you know, I'll definitely check out this book and see what's all about it. It's interesting to try to see someone's perspective on what happened in the Garden of Eden and heaven during those times when the serpent deceived Eve, you know. I'll make sure that I sit here and keep on crocheting. What a weird freaking dream. Hmm. Well, quite interested in this book now, so I'm actually going to start reading it for wheels this time. But anyways, I guess it's uh, I guess it's about the fall of Adam and Eve and man's first disobedience. And even if you're not religious, I feel like it's an interesting story. Who wouldn't want to read a book about an evil person coming to destroy and seek revenge on someone? Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost. Look at all the angels.